Hi, this is Vicky and welcome to my channel. This video series is very important for the theory test because you get three questions, five points each from this topic, right of way and priority. This is the second part of the video series and in the first part, we learned about right of way and priority rules for parallel moving traffic. In case if you have not watched the video, I recommend you to please watch the video because this is one of the important video series both for the theory and practical driving test in Germany. In this video, we are going to understand the right of way and priority rules applicable at an intersection or a junction. We are going to see different traffic situations and the rule right before left with perfect examples. We all know that we have junctions where the traffic is regulated by a police officer, junctions where the traffic is regulated by traffic lights, junctions with traffic regulation signs, most of the times both traffic lights and traffic regulator signs, and finally we have junctions with no traffic regulations as well. These are the different traffic situations we have and the traffic behavior will not be the same for each case. For every traffic situation, the traffic behavior changes. For instance, at any junction where the traffic is regulated by a police officer, his commands have the highest priority and a junction with traffic lights have the second highest priority. Next comes the traffic regulation signs and finally at any junction where there is no traffic police officer regulating traffic, no traffic lights and no traffic regulation signs, the rule right before left applies. We have couple of theory questions related to this topic. Let us check them once. At which places where there are no traffic signs regulating priority does the rule right before left apply? At crossroads and junctions. Yes, we just discussed at any junction where there is no traffic police officer regulating traffic, no traffic lights and no traffic regulation signs, the rule right before left applies. At driveways, no. Here, driveways means property exits. If a vehicle leaves a property or a restricted traffic area, all other road users, including pedestrians and children on the sidewalk, have priority. At the end of traffic calmed area, no. This is the traffic sign for the traffic calmed area. Same like driveways, if we are leaving out of a traffic calmed area, all other road users will have priority and we must wait. Before going to the next question, one small request. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel Driving License Germany and share the video link to your friends and colleagues. Now, coming to the topic again. Remember, all these questions carry five points each. So it is very important to understand them in detail and prepare well to clear the exam. At which places where there are no traffic signs regulating priority does the rule right before left apply? At crossroads and junctions. Yes, because there are no traffic signs regulating priority, right before left applies here. At junctions with sunken curbstone? No, junctions with sunken curbstone are just like driveways and traffic calmed areas. The rule right before left is not applicable here. Pedestrians walking on the street, children, cyclists, electric scooter and other road users have priority here. At junctions of farm tracks or forest tracks with other road users. No, if you are waiting on one of these roads, we must give priority to other road users. Now we have some idea where does the rule right before left applies. I have a small video recording for you. Please try to understand the traffic behavior in the real time situation. We have a junction there is no police controlling the traffic, no traffic signal and no traffic signs. But see how nicely the rule right before left being followed here. 
there are no traffic signs regulating priority right before left applies here There are different levels of priority. The traffic police commands will have the highest priority. Next comes the traffic lights, then traffic signs, and finally, right before left. I have a complete video on the topic right before left explained in detail about the priority levels with different traffic situations. Please check the link in the description below. Now, try to understand different traffic situations. We have a junction with no traffic police, traffic signals, and traffic signs. Hence, the rule right before left applies here. We have an yellow car and a blue car. It doesn't matter if any of the vehicles want to turn left or right or to go straight ahead. The blue car coming from the right has priority here and it should drive first. This is the simple scenario where we have only two cars and the traffic situation is very clear. So the vehicle coming from the right has priority. Now, let us see, we have three vehicles coming from three different roads. Yellow car, blue car, and a white car. For yellow car, blue is on the right, so yellow car must wait and allow the blue car to drive first. But for the blue car, white car is on the right. So blue car will have to wait and let the white car drive first. Finally, here is the order. First, the white car should drive, then the blue car, and finally the yellow car. It doesn't matter from where the cars are coming from. The order will be the same. They must follow the sequence according to the rule right before left. Now, let me add one more car. I have so many cars. We have four cars coming from four sides of the road. This is possible, right? Yes. What to do in this situation? We have one more theory question, not for exactly the same situation, but we can relate to this scenario. You are approaching a crossroads where the priority situation is not clear to you straight away. What do you do? Proceed according to the rule right before left. How? Then who should drive first in this case? Each vehicle here has a vehicle on their right. If we have to proceed according to the rule right before left, definitely it will lead to an accident or a traffic jam. So we are not sure about the traffic situation here. We cannot simply follow the rule right before left. Always proceed when driving straight ahead. No, we can proceed or drive straight ahead only when the traffic situation is clear and we have priority over other road users. Wait, observe and come to an agreement with others if necessary. There are situations that are difficult to understand in terms of right of way and priority. In such case, we must wait and watch other road users. If the situation remains difficult or unclear, we can communicate with each other by clear hand signals and come to an agreement. Simply continue driving straight ahead or proceed according to the rule right before left would be too risky and prone to accidents. So here in this case, wait, observe and come to an agreement with others. Say, let the blue car drive first. Other cars should follow the sequence according to the rule right before left. This is how we must try to read the traffic situation and proceed accordingly. Hope now you have a clear picture and complete understanding on the right of way and priority rules and most importantly the rule right before left. I will be continuing this video series and discuss in detail about different traffic situations for the theory exam. In my next video, we will try to understand the most important theory questions related to the right of way and priority rules. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and happy learning.